Good morning sheep fans, today we're putting the cheebies in the shed. Bit risky, they've not been getting fed, they're not eating. Probably never been in a shed in their life, but uh, it's going to make the management much easier, so we're going to stick them in and uh, see how it goes. Let's go. You can see their lily meg, lily meg. Looking in good fettle, lily meg. So a similar story here, these yows will be about 14, 15 days off the lambing. So they're just going a sort of half mile along the road into the shed. And it's a, a wee trial and error, a bit. As I say, for management it's going to be much better, but if it becomes an issue, we'll need to just kick them out to grass at the shed. So. These Cheevit yows on lamb to the Blueface Leicester and the Cheevit. Up. Um, I, I would like to say the Cheviot Tup was chasing up, but I put the three, two blue faced Leicester Tups, traditional blue faced Leicester tup, Tups, out and also the Cheviot Tup at the same time. Dalu you, Meg. Dalu, you, Lijun, Lijun. There's around a hundred in the batch because there's some half breads in there as well. Don't ask me why they were running with the blue faced Leicester. Just time was the enemy again. But yes, anyway. They are probably, the Cheviot was that fit that they are probably 70% Cheviot lambs going to be out of these and 30% uh, blues. You know what the blues are like. But they're in good form. They've wintered well. I'm very pleased with them. So that's the cheviots in the shed. I've mixed them in with the crochets. They're all due a bit of similar time, a couple of weeks. So they're just on haylage here in the shed. They have lip buckets. High energy crystal X buckets there. Try giving them some cake as well, some XL Euros, 18% protein. We'll give them, hopefully, I'm thinking the crochets might encourage them to eat if they're eating in amongst them. But it might take them a couple of days to settle down. We'll, uh, we'll get a video of them tomorrow and see what they like, see if anything's going down with staggers, etc. Uh, if we're going to have any problems. Okay, so that's the first day of the Cheviots in the shed. Everything looking okay so far. Touch wood again. But it probably would take a couple of days for the change in diet to really take an effect on them if there is going to be issues. You can see everything's moving quite freely there. No issues this far. We'll get a wee video again tomorrow, see if it's still going the same.
So day three of the Cheviot's been the shed, again no issues, everything seems to have settled in quite nicely. Touch wood. So if any changes I'll take a wee video and explain what's happened and I'll add that as another vlog but uh, I think that'll do for this one. I'm quite happy they're settled in okay just now, they're not eating so the change in diet coming off the grass into the shed might take another couple of days yet to kick in. But if it does, I'll put some footage up and let you see it. As they are just now, three days in, touch woods I say, it's been okay. Cheers.